Yeah, really. Come on. And I need better lighting. I have to get a lighting expert in here to get me better lighting for these things. Listen, people do it in the dark. I, know, I wouldn't worry crazy. about that. Believe me, I really would not worry about that. No. All right, I'm here. I think we're good. Okay. Um, so let me go find the agenda. Um, so we had a... God, I had it open. Now I don't have it open. That's so annoying. <laughs> I printed it. I did too. Now I got it. Okay. It, it's so um, wet. And I read the meeting minutes and everything. I was a good girl. Good. So if we can have a motion to approve the minutes of the February meeting. I make a motion that we approve the minutes of the February meeting. Second. Thank you. Any corrections, additions, edits, comments? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I can see. No, I didn't. It's hard to remember back that far. All right. Um, good. Then all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Any opposed? Okay. All right. Continuing on. So under old business, um, Peter, just a quick update, visitor map and kiosk. So I did attach in your packets the latest uh artwork from Phil Lohman, if you, if you, if you took a look at that. He's, he's uh, colored up the map now, so we're making progress. We're, um, oh, I totally missed that. How did I miss yeah, that? Yeah, I did too. I did. Should have been in the pack, yeah. I probably it is, but I, when I first went through it, I didn't see it. Uh, don't ask me how. Yeah, it's but just anyways. a one-page um, yep. copy of the drawing, but uh, it's in there, so you have it electronically. So we're making progress. We're working with the shopkeepers to make sure we don't miss anyone. Uh, on the business directory. He's then going to locate all of those on the map and then have a directory below it. So um, progress is being made. Um, we wanted to make sure the shopkeepers uh, had an opportunity. Uh, question, Peter, a question it. on that. How, how difficult is it going to be to make changes if, if a business changes? Because we've the, had a uh, lot of that. That is the $64,000 question because okay. it's even changed couple times since uh, we started working on this. So we're working with um, the same company that did the uh, Heritage uh, Walk um, kiosks. Uh, we're, we're, we've asked them to maybe provide us with a, uh, a less costly, uh, obviously probably less durable product because the businesses are going to change um, right. maybe even annually. So we're, um, we're taking a look at that product to see um, you know how it looks and feels that kind of thing so that's probably going to have to be the solution there's no product that you can change in the field with a piece of tape or you know something like that so uh, okay. um, the heritage uh, walk ones uh, have a 10-year lifetime so they're you know almost almost bulletproof they're not quite bulletproof but mm -hmm. so we probably wouldn't want to do that <laughs> because the cost is right close to $2,000, I think, every time you, we would change just the mm -hmm. business directory out. So uh, we're trying to figure that out. Um, okay. And if they don't, uh, if the product isn't sufficient, we'll maybe look to other vendors because there are other companies out there that do this. Okay. Well, I'm just wondering if maybe we shouldn't go to somebody like Sign Pro or somebody local just to create the business directory. Um, because then it's easier to also change it. Yeah, but it'll be this, the map along with the business directory. The business directory part of it is going to be imposed within it because you can have a number that ties back to the directory and all that kind of stuff. So um, I think we want to find one stop shop to place to do it rather than mess around with a separate business directory and then the map being different. So um so we'll we'll figure it out we'll, we'll come okay. back with some, okay. I, we, and we just it has to be affordable because if we have to change mm -hmm. it every year or two it's going to become a recurring budget item and right. it might be tougher and tougher to get through is there tougher. a way to is there a way to do it so it's two separate things and only the business directory needs to be changed and not the map i hate to yeah once you start putting um scenes or something yeah. in the map you, you start opening it up to the elements, yeah. even if we okay. change it every year. I, I don't know. We're, we're, as I say, we'll come back with some uh, some options. This is not a unique problem. Right. right. So there's got to be a solution out there that we can borrow from someone else. So I'm trying to think, is it Middletown has a directory? 
And does New Britain have a directory too on one of their kiosks? I thought Middletown did. It's too bad we couldn't have like little tabs that screw in and then yeah. you could just take off the individual ones that are bad and switch, not bad, new and switch them out. Once you start getting into moving parts and screws and it yeah. just, um, I can see what's gonna, what, what would happen. So you want a clean base that has no okay. exposure, um, but we'll see. Uh, as I say, it's not a unique problem. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll just, I just gotta focus, carve out some time and focus right. on it. Well, at least the map is going there, and so that's fine. I, you know, we've been waiting this long. Another four or five months isn't going to kill us. So that's and Phil's, fine. Phil's very happy how it's turning out. So uh, mm -hmm. that's the important thing. He had to uh, he had to add some stretches at the ends, and he had to make sure he went up Garden Street and a couple of couple of things that he had to uh, carve out some additional time. But if you if you uh, take a look at the electronic version, you can zoom right in on it. You'll see. What a, what a nice um it's it's very nice yes yeah so. i don't know what we're going to do when we lose phil <laughs> yeah we need to start grooming somebody for, as a replacement i think yeah that's, gonna, that's a tall order i know i know okay um and then i know in the package is the 2019 annual report so I gave the report to the council. Was that just last Monday, Peter? Yes, time flies. <laughs> time flies. God, I feel like I've been on the on these Zoom meetings for the town hall every week. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, anyways, uh, it seemed to be a good meeting. Uh, there were Matt Forrest had some questions, but Mike Rell had some very nice things to say. Good. Um, I think it went really well. That's I, good. Yeah, they were they were very happy. So that it was looks great. good. Yeah, looks wonderful. I'm impressed. <laughs> if I would be impressed <laughs> if I was on the other side, anyway. Look at all they're doing. Happy. That's right. We can make stuff look really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then for uh, the 2021 budget. Um, we also sat in on the budget hearing happened to be the same one that Mr. <laughs> Soon now retired. Oh, oh, oh. Was on. Oh retired. <laughs> that was awful. That was so embarrassing. God, it was embarrassing and it was everywhere. I mean, I heard yeah. more people go, oh my God, did you see? Yeah. Anyways. It wasn't, um, at least it wasn't when you were talking. So. <laughs> no, that is true. That is true. But I was like, wow, did he have no idea? I know it. Anyways, Peter, they haven't actually passed the budget yet, though, have no, they? No, it seems like they've had more budget meetings that, uh, than, than previous councils. They've got another one tonight, and I think another one tomorrow. And then there was some talk about Thursday or Friday voting on it, even though there's a council meeting on Monday. So I, I don't, and I know they've uh, tasked the manager with finding cuts and, but I, you know they're talking about a four million dollar increase and they're asking me about how much i spend on the harper current legal notices so i'm not sure how they're going to figure out four million dollars from legal legal notices but um uh so i i don't know what the the end all is going to be with the budget process so um since this okay. is their first time yeah so it was a good thing that i did my report after we had our budget hearing so i think that will hopefully hold us in good stead but it was pretty obvious that they were nickel and diming every penny they could. You yeah. know, oh, could we save that $250? I know it's not much, but you know. <laughs> I, did, um, um, I did indicate to them that there will likely be some savings it's not later on on the agenda under um, yep. the CTM contract. So mm -hmm. um, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that when we get there. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then sustainable CT certification. So Peter is in the process of drafting the application for the town to become a certified uh, sustainable <laughs> CT. And we're going for a silver award. Well, right? we'll, Which is we'll, a we'll, we'll see if we can. Uh, so it's yep. due August 25th. So we have some time uh, to pull together the loose ends. Um, there are a bunch of um, heritage tourism activities that we're getting uh, credit for. Jesse's been 
working on some upgrades to the website and things like that that's gonna, that are going to get us some points. Um, there's a business directory requirement, so Jesse's been working on some of the icons for that. So um, I'm not sure if I realized when I volunteered for this what was all involved because it's um, you know it's a project unto its own and uh, our intern that we had uh, given what happened with the virus couldn't come to town hall. It's hard to do it you know remotely, so uh, that wasn't terribly uh, fruitful. So uh, we may try and get an intern through the summer to help finalize mm -hmm. everything. So we'll see, uh, that would be pretty helpful uh, if we yeah. could do that. Yeah. But um, if all things come together, we would get, we could get a silver certification, which is the top certification. I think only a That's dozen great. pounds in Connecticut maybe have, have gotten that I'm so not far. even sure it's a dozen, Peter. It sound, I thought it was more like half a dozen. It may, it may be, it's not a lot. So if we yeah. can do that. Um, so we're talking on a, about a couple of things as we, um, get into the summer. One of the things Chris is uh, working with, uh, also with the bike walk guys, is some sort of a uh, forum on the various stakeholders who uh, um, are involved in all the activities that go on in the Great Meadows. Obviously the Heritage Way Trail goes through the meadows. There has been some controversy about that in the past. And with the bridge connection um, kicking in next year, activity down there is going to increase. We want to make sure we get everybody together, talk about the impacts, see if we can think about ways of mitigating that. So that would be one. Uh, you're required to do some community equity type projects in order to get the silver certification. So that's one of them that we're um, thinking about doing in either June or July <laughs> to help us with the designation. Yeah. And Peter, I have to be honest, I didn't go and look at it, but there was something on the next door digest about the 2020 census race or contest. I, I didn't see that. I have to go back and look for it. But if that's something that's town sponsored, we can count that for equity again. Okay. Yeah. If you can forward that to me, I'll take a peek at what, whatever that is. Um, yeah. I'll have to see what it is. But I, I just saw the heading and I went, oh, I'll have to look at that. Okay. So, okay. Um, so we may be reaching out on some other things the, in terms of particular activities. Peter, as you know, has got many things on his plate and doesn't um, necessarily have all the time to manage this. So we may be reaching out and saying we need a little help putting a meeting together. And if you're available, that would be great. So, okay. All right. Um, any other old business that anybody has to bring up? Okay, let's move on to new business, AARP grant status. If you haven't seen the bike racks that have been popping up all over town, uh, take a look for them. They're looking really good. The benches, uh, they seem to have poured the pads. They still haven't put them in yet, Peter. Oh, uh, really? Okay. I'll, um... Yeah, the one um, by Wilkes Farm, it's still got the little yellow tape. Okay. But no I'll, bench. Uh, I'll follow up with... Uh physical services and see what's what's going on with that. Okay, so. Jesse and I have been talking about getting the PDFs loaded correctly. Um, Jesse, I actually updated the bike one and created a PDF and shortened up the logo because he, the Google Maps will create one, but it didn't look as good. So I just shifted it around and made them. But I'm waiting for the trail maps for, um, Millwoods and Wintergreen Woods. Kathy sent me Wintergreen Woods. She's looking for the Millwoods one. Um, Kathy Bagley. So as soon as she finds that one, then we'll have those trails and we can wrap up the PDFs of all the maps and stuff and get that part done. So the good news is AARP hasn't been uh, hounding me about the final report. So but we, we definitely need to wrap this up sooner than later. Right, yeah. So I'm just waiting for Kathy to get me that one map and then um, we'll be okay. I suppose worst case, I could go take a picture of the kiosk and see if I can make it into a PDF. <laughs> the kiosk is in pretty rough shape, so it may not, I know may not it be is. the best product. Well, that's why I asked her if she had the original. Yep. So, uh, okay, the LOT CIP grant, 
um, is a grant that Derek is applying for. It's to do improvements to the Great Meadow Road where the exit off the highway is and Putnam Bridge, uh, shoulder lane, sidewalk, striping. Um, so we, the Heritage Commission, did a letter of support, just telling you after the fact, because it had to be in last Friday. Um, but it looks like if we get that money, that'll be great. Yeah. Mm. So it's uh, just shy of a million dollars. So great. Yeah. So that should be really good. Um, okay. Uh, CTM contract 2020. Here we are, Peter. I know it's on the, in the package. So it is in the package in advance of the meeting. I did, um, because of the deadlines, I did uh, already a pre-approved the um, putting the uh, ad in the map yep. um, uh, half panel. So we normally do that anyway. So in order to meet the deadline. We actually approved that at a meeting. I think it was the one Denise was at. Okay, good. Um, so that's um, either, that's probably done. We just used the same ad as we've, we've yep. done in the past. So he's quoted us 11,959 uh, dollars. I must have somehow let it slip that we had twelve thousand dollars. So he, uh, <laughs> he kept it a little bit. I don't know how he came up with nine hundred and fifty-nine, but um, that's what. I, and I think we can we can probably cut some of that back. He's pushed a lot of the um, uh, deadlines brochures out through December. One of them goes out through February, and I think we normally kind of shut it down. October, November timeframe. Yep, we do. So there's an opportunity there uh, if we cut those back uh, on a couple of the different routes to get this number uh, down a, a quite a little bit because we're already into uh, June basically. Um, so I asked him to start uh, July 1st, just you know, as the start date, and then we can kind of discuss how late into the year uh, you want to go. And given the uncertainty, you know, with the virus and how many people are traveling. Um, that, that did come up in the council budget session and we kind of committed that we were gonna have a late start anyway, so there would be some uh, savings to, to make there. Uh, I did, We didn't really, I don't think we told them how much the savings would be, so there's wiggle room there. But I think just following past practices, um, we probably should go through this and have a cutoff date for all of the services so they stop basically at the same time yeah because they're kind of all over the place peter i mean yeah. you know it's it's november it's september it's december it's october it's like oh my god stop already right um i i was going to say we should not go past the end of october right okay. i'm thinking on anything okay um because really so july through the end of october come november to december we don't have anything and most of the places closed down yeah just holidays on maine right which is really a very much very much a town right event okay if someone wants uh, to uh make a motion to that effect then i will uh i will work with ctm to get this proposal modified okay make motion that we how do you want me to wordy that we Enter into a contract with CTM for a ending at ending the end of October, a, November first. Let's just say. Okay. All right. Did I make a motion? <laughs> Peter wrote it down really well. I second the motion. If that was a motion. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and Peter, can you go back and just check because this is only for like six months. I mean, it says contract 2020 to 2021, but all of the dates are 2020 except for. 84 and 91 which he goes the, he had the explore a couple of the explore boards going into 21 um he had the 84 hotel going into february of 21 so he did have a couple i know but usually we go into the spring as well it just seems like we're paying as much money as we have in the past for a much shorter time frame because we always manage to cross over fiscal years okay i'll do a comparison and see what and this one doesn't look like it's crossing over fiscal years it's all it's also a new um a new person a new representative ah a guy by the name of daryl adler so so he may 
be putting his own spin on the proposal. Right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay with the, I don't think the digital board is that expensive. And I'd be okay with that one going through May of next year, okay. depending on the price, because that's pretty cheap. And we got a lot of hits on that. Yeah. Okay. But we'll have the, we'll have the actual brochures cut back then. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, Peter, we had a motion, right? I need to, uh, Julie, Julie and Kate? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, are you okay with that um, modification to include the digital through May? Yeah. Julie, you okay with that? I'm okay with that. Okay. All right. So, um, all those in favor of the motion as amended? Aye. Raise your hand. Aye. Aye. Raise your hand. Aye. <laughs> all right. All opposed? Everybody voted yes. Unanimous. <laughs> Okay, uh, so reopen Weathersfield. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any of the shopkeepers, but we do have our two organizations. So um, one of the things we wanted to talk about briefly was when are we like reopening? What have people heard? What are your plans? Because it would be nice for Jesse to think about doing a boost on Facebook when we actually know when the kind of events are gonna open up. Um, I don't care. Jill, you want to go first? There you go. Hey, you did it. Got it. Hello. Hello. Um, so just what's going on at Keeney is we're still closed for now. Um, we're looking to do some low contact outdoor events this summer. We hope to hold the um, the Keeney Cooler concerts, and if not, uh, consider live streaming them and having them available on the I'm town um, TV station. You know, trying to look at it that a lot of the seniors that are involved in the organization aren't super computer savvy. Mm. So that's kind of what what we're doing, and um, taking a look at you know the visitor center and how we greet the public there and working on some um, kind of cooperative things with the chamber offices. That's it. So do you have any kind of time frame at this point? I know the governor's been talking June 20th, expanding some of the opening and you know, expanding the number to 50. We're leaving it up to the town okay. <laughs> because yep. we're looking at the, our main place, the Keeney Center is the town building. Right. So Peter, Gary hasn't, and the council haven't decided yet? Uh, they, they are waiting, obviously, also for the governor to issue the uh, second, you know, phase two, I guess they call it, opening uh, plan. Right now, um, you know, outdoor activities are okay. Uh, obviously, restaurants, out, outside dining, uh, offices, retail, uh, are all okay to open. So we're working with businesses on making sure they uh, understand what they can and can't do. Um, we, we actually have a webinar uh, that we're hosting Thursday afternoon at two o'clock. If people want to um, listen in and or participate in that, we're gonna do some presentations on the different business sectors uh, and share the information. The health district will be on board as well as the building official, the fire marshal, um, EDIC, just to let people know. We've posted a lot of information on the town website, uh, basically the state guidelines, just so people uh, have that information. And also a link to the self-certification process where you have to kind of assess uh, your practices and make sure you're doing all the things that uh, will keep everybody safe and uh, healthy. So uh, we're trying to get out ahead of that. And then next Monday, the uh, barbershops and salons can open. They were pushed out. So we're also gonna have information uh, for those businesses uh, as well. So, um, and we're still figuring out what we're gonna do with town buildings. There hasn't really been any, there's some talk about kind of a soft opening on June 1st and then a more serious open on June 8th for town hall. You still will have to wear masks, you know, wash your hands when you come in. Um, 
it's basically going to be appointment only. We're keeping it kind of low key to start, but at the same time, the tax bills are coming online and those are going to be due. So they're, they're trying to figure that out because there are, believe it or not, a lot of people who want to physically hand in their check to the town uh, tax collector, uh, even though we have boxes and you can do it electronically. So, um, and then they're trying to figure out summer camps and school reopenings and things like that. So probably uh, <clears throat> Amy might want to reach out to Gary and just talk and be part of that conversation in terms of how we're reopening other town buildings. Uh, Cause it may not be on Gary's radar screen with all the other stuff that's going on. So just a, just a little, you know, cause I do think June 20th um, with limitations, you guys can, I think theoretically open as long as you've got all the other precautions in place, but you may want to just confirm that with, with the town, town manager's office. Okay. Yeah. And Jill, if you don't have one now, the depart DECG had a link where you could order a thermometer. Yeah, we're getting it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did that. And also Maybe. masks. You can I get the supply of masks because people are still, believe it or not, going up places without masks and, and you're still, I don't, I think you have to wear them in, in certain buildings. So. And that's mm -hmm. through DECD also? Yeah, there's all sorts. Of, each business um, sector, sector has some different standards. So you got to look at the individual guide uh, for that. I don't know if the museum guides are out there yet. Okay. Uh, until they get closer to the opening up. phase opening. Uh, yeah. but you should keep your eyes uh, okay. looking out for that. Peter, are we still limited to uh, groups of five or fewer? I've seen different things on that. I know I it's... I saw something today about uh, groups of up to 10. For okay, meetings. I saw that too. That's, I think, more in an office environment when you've got okay. people. Um, yeah. And then I've heard uh, restaurants, uh, it's five. Max okay. parties, five. So right, I don't know what, how that relates to you guys. All right. Well, what we're doing, um, as far as the museum opening, we're really up in the air right now because we do have an older uh, you know, employee group so Cindy said right now, she's only had two people come get back to her saying they're willing to come in and guide. Yeah. So that really makes a problem. The other, the one thing we are talking about is that our tours will now be by appointment. You know, you'd have to make a reservation so that we can control the numbers that way. But yeah. we really don't know what they're going to require of us at this point. So that's mm -hmm. kind of a problem. The yeah. other thing we are going to be doing, and we're starting to advertise, is elopements on the grounds. Um, so if I've already had a couple of my couples do that, um, they wanted their, you've got antelopes on your grounds. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> Elopements. Um, All right. Sorry. so they, uh, you know, a couple of my people who have moved their reception wanted their original date for their ceremony. So we've done a few. And so we've, we are going to start advertising for a fee. So anybody in the general public that's looking for a pretty place to have a ceremony, but we need to make sure we're following the guidelines and mm -hmm. it's so you know right now we're in our ad we're saying five or fewer but if we can do 10 or fewer that's you know i don't know and we are outside and we are requiring masks i think the out the out the outside thing really opens the door for more people yeah, uh, yeah. So, uh, but i don't know if they've it's, it, there was a wedding down at cove park a couple weekends ago um you know people had masks kept their distance mm -hmm. that kind of thing so i think as long as you follow those practices uh, probably yeah. after June 20th, you should probably right. should be okay, but okay. probably better so, look, at, look into that yeah. yourself. Yeah, we, so we are setting up the pay, you know, the fee schedule based on how many people they can have there. So, yeah. you know, once we can open it up to more than five, then the price is gonna go up. But that's yeah. where we're at right now, um, moving a lot of weddings and praying this thing ends soon. <laughs> Well, in some respects, it, it you didn't have to deal with the fact that there was construction going on and yes. people were being unhappy about it. So, yep. you know, look at the, the silver lining there for I you. Actually, I actually think that quite often. I'm like, here I sweated for two years with these people <laughs> that were booking. You know, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And now it's really fine because no one's there. <laughs> and it's beautiful and I can't wait. 
So Charles is gone, gone, and Cindy is now interim, well, right? Charles is last. I was going to get to that when we got to me, but I guess we're on me, so we'll just do it. Um, Charles's official last day is Sunday, the 31st. Um, but basically at this point, we're really, Cindy and, and Rich are making most of the decisions at this point. Um, we are actually going to be doing a short meeting on the grounds outside on Friday at noon to say goodbye um, or wish him well. He's, he's going to be around. He's um, still kind of involved with stuff, but, um, you know, to wish him well and all that. Phil apparently has done a portrait of him and their mm -hmm. people are signing it. So I think they're going to present that on, on Friday. So if anyone wants to stop by, we're going to, you know, keep our distance and wear our masks. But if anybody wants to stop by and wish Charles well and say goodbye and all that. Uh, it'll what be time? Noon on, on Friday. What? Noon on this Friday on the grounds in the back of the museum. Don't tell anybody because it'll be more than five and you don't want to get them in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to leave early. So if I go, somebody can take my place. There you go. You, I mean, it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be like a luncheon or anything. It's just stop by and wish them well. So Right. Yeah. So, and Peter, in terms of restaurants, Lucky Lou's got the patio. Aroma's got a little outdoor tables village has got tables i saw heirloom has got tables outside so i think most of the restaurants in old weathersfield at least are serving outside and then i haven't seen too many of the rest of the res restaurants on town the uh governor's executive orders set up uh basically throughout all the uh, pre-existing rules that we would normally apply to outside right. dining, they'd have to go through planning and zoning. So we are um, working with probably half a dozen other uh, restaurants who have not had outside dining before. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, if you've done it before, you've got a huge advantage. You know how it works. You've got the chairs, you've got the tables, you've got people who serve people outside where some of these people haven't done this before. Uh, it's a whole new and they, a whole new level and they have to invest money in it. And some of them are debating it. but there are a couple. So they're allowed to, for example, set up in parking lots if they want to. And the town really has a very limited uh, say as long as it's safe. And um, so uh, we're finding people are now, the light bulb's gone off and, you know, they're, they're submitting uh, information to us so that we're uh, trying to be flexible and uh, work with them on that. So you probably will see a couple more in Old Weathersfield, and then you'll see a couple more elsewhere uh, over the next uh, week or two. Okay. Did I hear Old Town is closed? Like closed, closed? Restaurant? The restaurant, restaurant. So I don't know, restaurant part, but the cat, the bar part. So I think they're merging. Okay. So he's likely to have, he's, he's looking for an outside situation. I don't know why he doesn't just use the restaurant one, but I think there's a, a liquor permit issue you know the, okay. the, the space is split down the middle so he has to he has to work with one side or the other so mm -hmm. it's pr it looks pretty uh disturbed inside if you walk by yeah i, I thought i heard it closed it. the the restaurant oh no the restaurant hasn't been open at all oh right. okay i have a free piano if anyone wants it yes oh. I saw that. <laughs> as long as it's not amplified <laughs> an old piano yeah. Well, I think we're just going to find as this goes on that there are probably going to be a lot of businesses that don't make it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, too, it's too bad. Although June 20th, I think the, they're, they're going to open up restaurants partially. Right. Uh, so it's probably going to be limited occupancy. So that's going to start, start to help people. So. Right. It's whether they can make it to June 20th. Right. Right. Oh. Okay, so Jesse, it looks like we're not going to be able to do any kind of like, hey, come back to Weathersfield till July. <laughs> uh, if anything, I was thinking of maybe some promoting the Heritage Walk a little bit. Oh, we can walk. We can right. walk. You can walk it. That's we can true. Walk. We can get fresh air. Right. Bike it. And you bike can bike. It. Bike it, whatever. Yeah. yeah. We That's have our quick idea. little six mile, you know. Visit historic Weathersfield in six miles. <laughs> yeah. You can walk it or bike it. So, 
That's a good well, idea. As I'm, on, as I'm on the trail a lot, either walking or biking, I will tell you, you see people stopping at those signs all the time. So thank God we have the signs. Thank you, Peter, very much for everything that went into it because that, I think, has been a highlight for people. They're walking, they're looking. So I would presume they're not necessarily Wethersfield people. Take a look at the parking that's going all over the Broad Street Green. Yeah, that's true. Well, people are always looking for a new place to go walking because they're, mm -hmm. they're tired of seeing the same old, same old. They've seen it every day for the last two months. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Jesse, I never yeah. tire of old Wethersfield. It's always lovely. Mm -hmm. Jesse, if you're going to promote the walk, if you want some of the individual panels, the graphics to put on the Instagram or whatever, I, yeah. um, think about that. If you want to take a look at which ones you want, I can and maybe every couple of days you can do a different one. Yeah. To promote it that way. So let me know which ones. Um, How many are there? Oh, 18. 18. Because I would just give give them all. Um, oh. Have some variety. Yeah, I, I don't think you want to do them all. No, but like, give, like give me all, and then I, I can choose and pick, and then. Oh, you give it to him, and he'll decide. You give it to me, and, then I, and then I go through, and then I'm, uh, and then I choose and pick, and whatever. Instead of being like, hey, can I have this one and this one, and then mm -hmm. okay, the, the back and forth will be too much. Yeah, it may, it may be, um, it may be eighteen different emails because of the size of the graphics and everything. But okay. yeah, I mean, other, otherwise, I was thinking of actually going on. Maybe go going on the uh, heritage walk myself and just take some pictures uh, and then do a little video and then maybe, maybe come up with a short video of it. Sure, that would be fine. But I'm also wondering if we couldn't do like <clears throat> come and do the heritage walk and learn and talk about one and then say and have an ice cream at Main Street Creamery mm -hmm. or pick up the meal to go from Grange Fresh and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, that you know, one, because this, this station is right near that restaurant or whatever, tied right. them together. And, and we can do a little kind of promoting, you know, you can, you know, order to go from Heirloom Market or Grange Fresh or Aroma Bistro to give them a little boost too. I think that might be a nice. Yeah, heirloom, heirloom Market, they have their own little kiosk right there. Yeah. They're, right. They're, they're right on it. So um, no, no need to promote their, their. <laughs> you can't promote everybody and not promote them though so if you're going to do it oh, no, but they'll know. see they'll be like oh wow take a nice picture see that oh you i see what you're there. saying and they're going to be like oh wow like that's right there on the trail okay you might also take a picture of one of those bike racks at the same time so that you yeah. know we're encouraging the biking and here's a place that you can go and also park your bike yeah, I've I've seen the two of them are on the Cove area, right? One's by the barn, mm -hmm. the uh, warehouse. One's by the uh, beginning at the Solomon Wells house. Yeah, one's, one's at, the at Charles. Charles. Uh, is there two on the Broad Street Green or just one? Two. 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 That's it. Are there some place? Oh, the library must have something, right? Well, we already had them at the something? library. Yeah, library has a bike rack. They're at um. Comstock didn't, the owners didn't want them there because of their, right. they're more modern looking than okay. those with their motif. So they're at the community center. They're at other places throughout the rest of the town. Wilkes Farms. Yeah. A um, couple Keeney of other center. places. Keeney, yes. In yes, the back there. Keeney. Yep. Um, this, uh, Peter, I mentioned to you that the heritage sign in front of Lucky Lou's is damaged. So maybe if Jesse's going to do his tour and use that one, that would be a good one to have the graphic, the original graphic for it. I don't know if we have that one though. No. It's Web Dean Stevens. It's the James, isn't it? I think I, I, don't I, know. I think I have it somewhere. Um, it was. Um, Wasn't it the Rochambeau group? It was right. The, right. Yeah, the WR3 group, and right. um, they've kind of washed their hands of it a little bit. I've tried to reach out to them to get them to agree to pay for the uh, upgrade and replacement and they went radio radio silent on me so that may be something we have to think about doing to, yeah because it's really um, starting to deteriorate more rapidly than than I thought so um, so that's an agenda item we probably need to I got to get a quote 
see what that's all involved. I think fortunately it's just the the panel, not mm -hmm. the actual hardware, so it shouldn't. It's a panel because it's got like a cover over it, right? Right. Yeah. It's bubbling and cracking and peeling. Right. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's keep that in mind. If you had check and see if you've got the original graphic. If you don't, then there's really nothing we can do. Yeah, I think um, there was an Ann, that was an Ann Kukro uh, right. led yes. project, and I think she did um, provide me with that at some point. So I just have to probably go back in the archives and see if I can track it down. I'll make a note to do that. All right, put it on your tickler file for like the fall because I know you've got way too many other things going on right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, then we have to come up with the money. That's the other part of it. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So, okay. All right. Um, so, any other kind of reports that we didn't talk about? Um, all right. All right. Then I think because Peter, EDIC is doing okay, right? Nothing. Yeah, they're focused on this reopen, as I say, this Thursday. Uh, so they're really kind of focused on that right now. Yeah, um, right. Yes. Okay. All right, Jesse, social media. Um, it's it's there. It's, it's getting there. <laughs> not much. You know, to we've already been talking about. It. I think you're right. Posting, you know, promoting the walk a little bit, going, hey, this is a good thing to do would be. It's yeah. a good idea. I've just been talking about getting out there and then sharing other people's posts, uh, sharing a lot of Web Dean Steven stuff because they've got a lot of interesting uh, posts going on. Yep. Uh, the return Thank you. of the return of Washington. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that was cute. The A A through Z series. Um, you know, a bunch of his history stuff going on. Um, but uh, mainly, I mean, we got the newsletter coming out in um you know within the next week and i could probably use I, I mean there's really nothing to post i have um i have art stuff going on that are all virtual art classes so why don't we use it to just um, a reminder of things to do in town okay um you know Maybe like i should just add the heritage walk to it yeah, I mean, the Heritage Walk, Wintergreen Woods, Mill Woods, just kind of, you know, the weather's getting nice. Don't forget there's lots of great things to do in town, even though you can't do large gatherings. Yeah, like a themed countdown of the top five or top ten socially distant things to do in Weathersfield. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to your neighbor. <laughs> Walk your dog. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Anderson Farm is open. Anderson the farmer's Farm. market's getting ready to open. Right, they're getting ready to open. I've been meaning to go over there and get a picture mm -hmm. and uh, promote that a little more. Yeah. Um, there's things, things like that. in there. Uh, Actually, and the Kew Garden is open. You can call and make an appointment and go mm -hmm. to the Kew Garden. Um, yeah, so let's just make it things we can do in town to, inc to remind people. Because right. they forget sometimes. Yeah. But other than that, it's the only sure. event the places are uh, Art, Art Academy, um, Cedar Hill has pulled out of everything right. um, till of, of June that, you know, I, they haven't said anything about July yet, but so far, you know, everybody's been each month, people are pulling out and I, and this, and I know everybody's really busy and stuff, but, but I, I have to go searching for this stuff and like, no, no one's really keeping me informed, but um, you know, what can you do? It's, it's, it's just pretty out. much there are no events until July. Right. Yeah. And we uh, don't know. You know, we unless, don't know. Unless it's uh, a virtual online event. Right. right. Jesse, I know that our, um, our curator has been doing a lot of informational stuff on the uh, Historical Society page. So I don't yeah. know if you can pick up any images or stories from any of that and just I, repurpose it. Actually, I did share. Um, I sh shared a couple didn't they do something with uh the cove yeah probably and then uh they did mm -hmm. I sh i've been sharing those too actually and they they uh have become really really popular uh as well um, good sharing those yeah. um and then i just been going out and just doing the regular and working on the instagram taking pictures and keeping people engaged yeah 
it's, and I think it's staying with us, making sure they come to our page still, mm -hmm. you know, not forget we're, you know, we're still here. We, I got images, I got things for you, uh, you know. When's the drive-in movie thing supposed to start? That, I at, don't know, but I've heard. He hasn't given he hasn't given us a date yet. He was um he didn't he wasn't he wasn't gonna buy the equipment until he got his approval. So that makes sense. Uh, but once I find out from him, I'll I'll let you know. Okay. That'll be fun. And oh, then everybody's so excited. I know sure. something different. The yeah. other thing is um, so many people have been putting some time and energy into their gardens that mm -hmm. it's really pretty out there right now. So you know people have time <laughs> yeah <laughs> right, right right but with the you know with heart seed and and comstock history yeah. and everything it's just it's tie, there's a tie in there yeah katie can they go on the property of the web dean stevens because the garden looks very nice yeah at this point. i don't see why not um i mean there's nobody there watching anyway, but yeah, I don't see why not. I hate to have people miss it when it looks so beautiful. It does look good, Jess, so maybe you could highlight that as well. That, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've taken a few pictures, um, but I haven't been back there uh, recently. So. Right, but that's one of the things you can do is go check out this historic garden. Mm -hmm. Things have become quite difficult when uh, you turn to a, a teacher during the day. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. And, and you got, you got uh, a, a 10 month, you know, whining and a five year old whining and you're trying to take them with you. And it's funny cause she, my five year old, she wants to get into the pictures too. So I do, so I go, out, I let her do her thing. She poses and stuff in front of the houses or in front of, she, she loves going to the Keeney Center and she does, makes the wish. And then- um, That actually would be cute. I take a few pictures of her doing that. And then I tell it, you know, hey, do you mind getting out of the side, <laughs> out of the way? And then I take a few pictures, you know. But you know what? One with her with throwing money in the fountain would be so adorable. I would post that if you're okay yeah. with posting her. I posted a few with her, but only on stories because they disappear. The stories yeah, disappear they, after 12 hours, 24 not, hours. Yeah. yeah. They're not permanent. I'm not sure if I'm ready to have permanent pictures. That's right. okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. But you could encourage and say, look at this great picture I found. Can you beat this one? Yeah. And yeah. encourage people to kind of post their own pictures. Um, um, yeah. Uh, post what you're doing during the right. pandemic. Actually, we've been going and then we go behind the Keeney Center and she learned how to ride a bike. And oh, then, awesome. Yeah. And now that she knows how to ride a bike, that's the only place she'll go. I see Jill, I see your car out there. I'm always waiting. I was watching from the window and I was trying to take pictures from above. That was so cute. <laughs> did see it. Okay. Oh, that is very cute. Oh my God. But that's the only place she likes to go. She gets nervous going anywhere else. She's like, let's go uh -huh. to the center. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'll have great. to send you the picture of the house down by the cove that has chickens wandering oh. on its front yard all the time. Yeah, I've, I've, caught, uh, I've caught them out there a couple times. Yeah, oh my God, they're funny. They don't stay on his own property, so. No. It's a no. whole other subject. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it helps with the mosquitoes. Right. And oh, the ticks. Yeah. And the ticks. And ticks. Yeah, true. Okay, all right, it is now six o'clock. I wanna get Peter home at a reasonable time. Um, I thought he would be doing this one from home, but obviously not. By the so, time I got um, home, the meeting would have started, so. <laughs> yeah. All right. So our next meeting is scheduled for the end of June. We might just want to do a quick touch base. One, hopefully we'll know what our budget is. And um, we may have more information about reopening. Right. Um, so let's plan on June, probably not July. Um, and then August, because we'll be gearing up for fall. Fingers yeah. crossed. <laughs> and see how it goes. So it looks like everyone's doing well. Glad to hear yep. it. Yep. Which yes. is good. So everyone's Where's everybody safe? else? <laughs> yeah. Everyone's healthy, so that's good. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Something to be said for that. Very true. Yeah. Well, it's nice to see your faces. You I know it is nice to see your faces. Julie, yeah. we're jealous because you're in I North Carolina, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I'll enjoy the beach for everyone. Although I think it's colder here today than it was there. If it's oh dear. Ah, <laughs> uh, too bad. <laughs> 
All right. Thanks, everybody. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 B